to the Black and White Sessions. Hello, Tony. Hi, Lady Beth. This you? is, I'm great, thank you. This is Miss Tony Scruggs. We are so excited to have you with us at the Black and White Sessions. <laughs> Glad to be Finally. here. Finally. Glad to be here. Finally. Mm -hmm. We have been talking, have, we've been talking for months it's now, It's been right? a while. It's it been a while. been a while. Yeah. But you're a busy lady and we're grateful and thankful yes, for that. Yes, God, knock wood. Yes, yes, all the things, <laughs> the fabric, yes, all of it. All. You know, but it is such a treat and you are um, such a unique vocalist Thank you. and we were just talking about how it's hard to find singers uh, you know in general that have the ability to to change the tone of their voices mm -hmm. and things like that and and Tony's very unique in that she sings everything from soprano down to tenor and whatever in between mm -hmm. um, I would love to know what would be your advice to young singers coming in I mean obviously we live in LA so people yeah. that want to work in this industry mm -hmm doing either touring singing, um, session singing, what do you think should be something they really focus on? Oh, that's a hard question. There are so many facets to actually working. So many. Um, my main issue that I run into with a lot of even professional singers is people not maintaining vocal health. Mm. And that is a big thing because if you don't have your optimal instrument, mm -hmm. that's going to change how you perform every time you do it. So mm -hmm. it's it's very important to maintain the health of your instrument and make sure that you have mm -hmm. a very similar product every time you open your voice. There shouldn't yeah. be levels that change. You know, well, I don't know. I don't know. Might happen. Might have No, there shouldn't yeah. be that. You should have the exact same sound every time mm -hmm. somebody asks you to do anything or every time you do anything. Right. So that's one thing that I've tried to maintain in my life. Thank God my range hasn't changed much. Yeah. <clears throat> do you I'm, do anything particular as far as like, do you do vocal exercises or use any products or anything like that? You know what? I'm very strange and I don't tell everyone to follow me when it comes to this, but yeah. I don't. I don't use any vocal exercises. I don't have any products that I lean on. I maintain my instrument. I make mm -hmm. sure that I'm getting enough sleep when I'm working. I make sure that I'm eating right when I'm working. I'm making sure that I'm drinking as much water as humanly possible. Which is the most important. The most. Hydration, absolutely hydration. hydration. <laughs> um, I'm a firm believer in Manuka honey. Firm believer. Um, and honey in general. Raw honeys. As long as it is mm -hmm. an unprocessed uh, or lightly or minimally processed honey that is uh, has the actual honey <laughs> things and not you know yeah fructose corn syrup that's gold <laughs> we don't yeah you want to actually have honey because honey has medicinal properties and it can heal your voice so i'm a firm believer in manuka honey um i also if you know worse comes to worse i do also do like an aloe vera uh, juice or something like that to mess oh, with the okay. honey that makes sense but i'm you know teas i'll do um a ginger honey crystal tea that's mm -hmm. really dirt cheap. That's my thing, too, is I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on things. Right. The, manu the, manu the Manuka honey I will definitely spend money on because that jar will last you forever, honestly. Oh, okay. It'll last that's you a cool. long time, and that's going to cost you 40 or 50 bucks a jar. Okay. But it's miracle. It's yeah. like a it's a silver bullet, almost. Oh, that's cool. It okay. really is. So that is the one thing that I do swear by, but it's yeah. it's honey. At the end of the day, it's honey. I mean, yeah. you know. But, that's a good um, one. Not like specific, probably, you know, everybody's the sprays well, and the gargles and the eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I figure if you are maintaining optimal balance, like people laugh at me all the time because I have this vitamin regimen that I do every day. Mm -hmm. But that's part of it, that I get all yeah. of my nutrients. That way, I try to make sure I eat healthy as well. Try to make sure, mm -hmm. even though I'm a bigger girl. <laughs> oh my. I'm very much... Uh, very conscious about what I'm eating and yeah. when and you know I make sure I take that in consideration when I'm working because anything can make or break you it really mm -hmm. can one fried chicken something <laughs> right. can be you know lodged in your throat at the exact wrong time during a studio session and that can yeah. cause time That's so I true. make sure when I walk in the door that I'm clear and I have done mm -hmm. whatever I have to to make sure that when I open my mouth yeah. the exact same product people know me for so well, I love that. That is yeah. definitely helpful and um, good information for people. And I also was just thinking, you know, you come from a musical family. Very much. You're one of four? Four. You're mm -hmm. one of four. You have twin sisters. Yep. I know that. Right behind. And then 
one little one, sister. One little sister. Yeah. And um, as children, did you guys gravitate toward music, or did your parents say, "Here it is" and inspire you? How did it come to be? Because I know you guys have sung together over mm -hmm. the years, and how did that whole thing kind of come to be? Well, they, my parents, are musicians as well. Okay. And uh, they say encouraged it. <laughs> <laughs> say encouraged. Or does that uh, mean at 2 a.m. y'all were getting up singing encouraged. in the middle of the night? No, no, no. No, middle of the night. Thank God. Uh, no Jackson 5 situation. No Jackson 5 okay. situation. It wasn't that extreme, but it was still very okay. much a very serious thing Okay. that uh, we were encouraged to do. And since, you know, encouragement in organized religion and in church is not necessarily encouragement. It's actually, <laughs> you're going to do this and this is what we're going to do. Yes. So for a lot of yes. years, you know, it was that. We had a little family band and we were around singing all kinds of stuff. Not all kinds of stuff. We were, we were doing gospel primarily. Mm -hmm. Gospel and inspirational primarily. And, um, you know, singing one, you know, lead and three-part harmonies and stuff like that. I think that's kind of where it started was that, um, depending on who sang lead, because sometimes I did, well, most times I did, but sometimes it would change, so whoever stepped out to do the lead, I would have to do their part. So it kind of started right. there in that, you know, if the soprano was leading, then I would go and sing soprano. If the soprano stepped back in and the alto went out, then I would sing alto. So it, that kind of started all that stuff. And then the, uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That was, I think, even more, like, m more polished and refined in mm -hmm. church doing praise and worship where <laughs> the lead yes. stepped out and you were missing a part so it's filling the part so well, what great training so round yeah absolutely i mean really absolutely. for all the ear training that you had absolutely you yeah know, for sure. and from a young age how old were, were you very young yeah, very young i think we started at like five i started five and all yeah. everybody's behind me so the twins are a year and a half behind me and the youngest is a year behind them so as we got older, they added more people to the band. So yes. <laughs> so yes. towards the what was I like eight? I think we were all singing, all four of us wow. together. So we were everywhere, and it was official. Like we were doing professional stuff. We were doing banquets and church gigs and midnight musicals and yeah, all kind of stuff. So well, and clearly now as an adult and a yeah. working professional singer, yeah. you can look back over that season of your life and realize and it was absolutely helpful. It, it was really helpful. I resented it for a lot of years. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> man, what could I have been if I didn't do that? <laughs> but uh, I did. It, it definitely helped because I came from that and then went into college and did vocal jazz, which was the end all be all. That was that applied everything. But yeah. before that, I got my ear from singing, you know, three parts and four parts and stuff at church mm -hmm. and and then it just applied it to something that actually, you know, worked well. So it was jazz, vocal jazz was amazing. That just branched me out and stretched my ears that much more. So And then just lastly, I would just love to know, so um, where did you go to where did you go to college? I went to Sac State. It was this random <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't even like a real program. It was just this one particular teacher who oh, just had, a, she had an amazing ability to turn singers into musicians. And from there, mm -hmm. um, obviously you've had a, a wonderful career, but what was your first um, professional singing job outside of the church? First professional singing job was, well, official, because before that I was doing, you know, weddings and uh -huh. other things around town and stuff like that but my first official job was a, a wedding band in college right out of vocal jazz and uh, my teacher actually hooked that up so I did you know the good old R&B soul throwback old school stuff yeah and that was you know almost a cakewalk because you know it's Rita Franklin and Chaka Khan and all yeah. that stuff you're just singing all your old exactly. favorite songs, my favorite songs. <laughs> exactly so that was fun and then from there, my like official full time, this is all I do singing mm -hmm. every day, all day was in Universal Studios in Japan. And that was, wow. yeah, that was tough. That was very intense. Uh, but it was, it was my foray into, you know, full singing time. bread and butter. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fascinating. And then I came back to LA and uh, my first official LA gig <laughs> was Shaka Khan. Wow. And singing alto for her and then eventually singing soprano for her. 
That's incredible. Yeah. Well, it really does go to show, and I'm sure it's very inspiring for people who may be singing in a wedding band right now, thinking, you know, I aspire really, to other things. And it's possible. But it is you, absolutely possible. Yeah, yeah for it sure. really helped you along the way. And yeah. Yeah, it's it so did. great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Oh, glad to we be We really it. appreciate you glad and are really thankful for you. Oh, glad to be here. Yeah, appreciate thanks. you. Thank you for having me. Of course. All right. Mm -hmm. See you later.